When I, in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. I hear the rolling thunder. Your power throughout the universe. The universe displayed. Come on, sing it with me this morning, church. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great you are. How great you are, how great you are. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Listen, you know on this morning, talking about a major key to answered prayer many of you believe in God to answer your prayer and I want to talk about something that's crucial to your prayer being answered amen father I pray for my brothers and sisters right now that's tuning into this morning prayer broadcast bless them touch them encourage them strengthen them I pray that the Holy Ghost would shine the light on the Word of God open their understanding increase their faith strengthen them i pray that this message would draw your people closer to you a deeper relationship a stronger relationship in prayer in worship in love in obedience to the word of god bless your people this morning i pray bless them beyond measure and we know god that they are the apple of your eye bless them i pray in jesus name how great you are, how great you are. Listen, I want to take you right into the Word of God in the book of Matthew chapter 6. This is something that's very personal with me. I love this scripture right here, me and my wife. And you're going to see something in here that's going to help you. Amen. Now, I pray to God that God would use this message push you to praying right now. Amen. Now watch this, Matthew chapter six, because I'm going to point something out in here that helped my prayer life out. When the Holy Ghost shined the light on God's word, I tell you what, it really helped me in prayer. It increased. It just, it made it easier for me to pray. Amen. And I'll explain in a minute. Let's go to Matthew chapter six, verse six. Jesus said, but you, when you pray, listen to this good now. He said, when you pray, which means he expects you to pray. He said, enter into thy closet. And when you have shut your door, pray to your father, which is in secret. And your father, which sees in secret, shall reward you openly. That means he's going to answer your prayer openly and other people will see the result that the prayer is answered but I want you to see this notice what Jesus said Jesus said when you pray which means he expects you to pray which means that he's expecting you to pray he wants you to spend time with him he wants you to talk to him notice what he said when you pray enter into your closet that means you have to make a conscious decision to spend time alone with God it's a decision Just do it, man. Just do it. Just do it. Set the time apart for God and just do it. Just make it happen. Listen to what he says. Enter into your closet and when you have shut your door, pray to your father, which is in secret. That means when you go into the place of prayer, listen to this. I'm about to share with you what changed my prayer life. When you go into the place of prayer, you are not in there by yourself. Hello, you are not in prayer by yourself. He says, pray to your father, which is, which is, that's present tense, which is in secret. That means when you close that door, it's not just you by yourself. God is in that place of prayer and worship 
which you, my brother, my sister, God is in there with you. And listen to what else he says, that this, this is the part here that really got a hold of me and changed my prayer life. Listen to this. Listen to what he says at the end of verse six. He says, and your father, which sees in secret. He sees you in the secret place. God is staring at you. He is looking at you. Man, this blew my mind. Let's think about this. It, when I read that, the Holy Ghost used that part of the verse right there to make me to be much more aware of the presence of God, to make me to be much more aware of the reality of God as a father, that when I shut my door, my bedroom, door, wh wh wherever it is, you, your, your, your prayer closet may be your car on the way to work. You got to realize this. This is the part that got me, that when I'm alone, I'm really not alone because I'm alone as far as no other, no other person like other people are there. But God is right there looking at me, man. The Bible says your father which sees in secret. That means he's staring at you. God is looking at you when you are in prayer. When you begin to worship him, he is looking at the adoration that you are giving to him. Listen. When that, when, when the Holy Ghost brought that part of the word of the Lord Jesus alive to me, it changed my prayer life because it brought me into a closer relationship with God. It brought me into the awareness and reality that God is real. He is my father. And when I go into prayer, God is right there with me like a real father would sit and listen to the request of a son that he loves. God is right there listening intently, not taking anything that you are saying to him for granted. So he's not taking anything you are saying to him for granted. Listen to this. Jesus said, but you, when you pray, enter into your closet. And when you have shut your door, pray to your father, which is in secret. The word pray just means talk, communicate with him. Amen. And your father, your father, it's personal. Your father, which sees in secret, he is looking at you. Your father, which he's right there looking at you as you spend time alone with him. Jesus said he will reward you openly. This is why it's so important for us to spend time alone with God. You know what Psalm says, Psalms 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, it's the presence of God. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely, surely, man, without a shadow of a doubt, surely He will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will trust his truth his word will be your shield and buckler you will not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flies by day a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high your habitation there shall no evil befall you neither shall any plague come near your dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against the stone you will tread upon the lion and adder the young lion and the dragon that's the devil and his demons, you will trample them under your feet. And God answers now and say, Because you have set your love upon me, therefore will I deliver you. I will set you on high. That's promotion. Because that's vindication. Because you have known my name. God says, You will call upon me, and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you with long life. Will I satisfy you? and show you my salvation. Glory to God. Jesus said, your father which sees in secret, God is going to reward you openly. Get in the secret place. You want to see answer to prayer? Get alone with God. 
get alone. I'm not talking about when we pray in the general assembly. That's the prayer of unity. Amen. That's the prayer of agreement where we are praying with other believers. But I'm talking about a relational type of prayer where you are alone with God. So I want to say to you, set time aside for God. Make time with God your number one priority. That's the key to that's the key to your prayer being answered. Your love for God, that relationship, build it. Listen, worship Him, meditate on the Word of God, pour your heart out to God. God is waiting on you. He loves to hear you talk with Him and commune with Him. He loves you and desires a greater relationship with you. And the result of that time alone with God, He will reward you openly and answer your prayer so hear me out before this day is over if you are alone right now just begin to talk to him begin to love on him we love you lord we love you for you are great you do miracles so great come on church there is no one else like you i love him with all of my heart there is no one there is no one else like you for you are great come on talk to him you do miracles so great i feel the presence of god there is no one else like you my god my god there is no one else like you for you are great sing it for you are great come on church you do miracles so great we love you lord there is no one else like you no one else like you jesus there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. That's a major key to answered prayer is getting alone with God. Pour your heart out to God. Tell him all about your trouble. Don't hold back. Be honest with God. Be real. Talk to him. He's listening. He is a father. He cares about you and desires to hear you. Now listen, many of you have been tuning into these broadcasts week in and week out. And we are asking you, stand with us. Support the work of the ministry. Many of you are partnering with us and supporting us. And we appreciate you. We don't take you for granted for one second. We can't do this without you. God have called you to help hold up our hands. Amen. And we love you guys. We appreciate you. You mean a lot to us. What a day it's going to be when we all get to heaven to get our reward. Us and you together will be sharing in the harvest of souls that, that God is using this broadcast to reach. Souls are being saved. Sick bodies are being healed. Are you hearing me? The greatest thing that can happen on this broadcast is for souls to be saved. We need your support. We love you and we appreciate you greatly. Remember, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're watching us through YouTube, click on the red and white button on the bottom right of the screen. Every time we go live or upload a video, you'll be notified. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow our ministry on Facebook. The information is on the screen. We love you guys greatly. We appreciate you. And I pray to God that this scripture, this message, have been a help to your walk with God, your relationship, and to help your prayer life. Amen. We love you guys. And on tomorrow, we will be talking about the power of a one-day fast. You don't want to miss that broadcast. Amen. We love you guys. God bless you. See you again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.